Primates are a remarkably diverse group of mammals. They range from small, frugivorous, skittish animals to large, fast, intelligent, and often predatory animals. Even the small and skittish frugivores exhibit some of the highest intelligence of any animals on the planet, and the most predatory members are a threat to any species. And today, we'll look at the largest and most powerful primates to ever live. Gigantopithecus is easily the most famous giant primate, and it was an extraordinary animal. Being the largest known primate ever, it reached a height of up to 9.8 feet or 3 meters, and would have weighed on average 440 to 660 pounds or 200 to 300 kilograms. Although some estimates are much higher, and individuals could greatly exceed average weights. The first fossil of it discovered was a jawbone with intact molars. The teeth were evidently adapted for grinding tough, fibrous plant material, indicating a predominantly herbivorous diet, likely including lots of bamboo. This is backed up by carbon-13 analysis of its fossils, showing a foliverous and frugivorous diet. The position and structure of Gigantopithecus's limbs aren't well known due to the limited fossil remains but their large size would have made it incredibly difficult for them to be arboreal, meaning it would have had a lifestyle and locomotion most similar to a gorilla. Spending its time browsing for leaves and the occasional fruit, the jawbone of Gigantopithecus was incredibly robust, even far more than modern gorillas, and since the two animals are believed to have a similar lifestyle and diet, this robustness can be inferred to the body, indicating a very heavy set and powerful animal. Gigantopithecus lived in the forested regions of South Asia and shared this environment with other large herbivores like Gomphothers, Cynomastodon, Chalicotheres, pigs, and cows, as well as predators like saber-toothed cats, big cats like tigers, crocodiles, and more. While their gigantic size may seem to indicate that as adults they would be immune to predation, African leopards are known to hunt female gorillas on occasion, so a large enough feline, like the Megantarian, could pose a threat. While most know Gigantopithecus, less know its distant relative Lufangpithecus. This ape lived around 6.2 million years ago, and could reach around 150 pounds, a bit larger than a chimpanzee. Compared to a chimpanzee it had larger rounder eye sockets, larger canines, and a flatter face. Additionally, Lufangpithecus was more sexually dimorphic than chimpanzees, meaning there was a bigger difference between males and females, the males being larger and having proportionally larger canines. And this could indicate more intense intraspecific competition between males than we see between chimpanzees. This ape lived in evergreen forests near open plains and lived along with elephants, flying squirrels, and saber-toothed cats. Compared to other primates, lemurs are relatively small and unintimidating animals. The largest living species is the Indri, reaching 21 pounds or 9.5 kilograms. But over 2,000 years ago, a gigantic lemur stomped through the forests of central Madagascar. Archaeoindris could weigh more than 400 pounds or 180 kilograms, larger than a silverback gorilla. The structure of its teeth and jaw indicates a herbivorous diet with a specialization in consuming leaves and other tough plant materials, similar to modern flivorous primates like howler monkeys. Archaeoindris is thought to have been a mix of arboreal and terrestrial, although its gigantic size would limit it to climbing on very large trees. However, the environment it lived in would mostly have been an open habitat, consisting of a mix of woodlands, bushlands, and savanna. While its large size would have protected it from some predation, it still would have been hunted by predators such as the semi-terrestrial crocodilian voe robustus, and its young would have been threatened by the Malagasy crowned eagle, as well as the giant fossa. Another giant lemur was Megalodapus. This primate only died out around 500 years ago and weighed around 310 pounds or 140 kilograms. This giant was very strange compared to living lemurs. It had a squat, heavyset body resembling that of a koala's and was specifically adapted for vertical climbing. And the extent of this adaptation would make it very difficult for it to move around on the ground. This creature was made even stranger by the structure of its skull. It is the only known primate to have eyes on the sides of its skull, and the overall shape of its skull is similar to a rhinoceros's, 
with a very small brain for its size and a large mobile lip for grasping leaves. While both of these animals faced the same predators, both were eventually pushed to extinction by humans through direct hunting and habitat destruction. Living baboons are famous for being some of the most vicious and intimidating animals on the planet, despite their relatively small size. But their extinct relatives did not have this limitation. Dinopithecus was a close relative of living baboons, but with a skull that could reach almost a foot long, and large males able to reach 170 pounds, or 77.5 kilograms. This creature roamed the savannas of Africa between 2 and 3 million years ago. Living alongside animals such as elephant relatives like Dinotherium and Stegodon, giraffe relatives like Cyvotherium, cats like Dinophilus, gigantic extinct warthogs, an extinct species of hippopotamus which could be twice as large as the living species, and our early ancestors, including members of Paranthropus and Australopithecus. In fact, these baboons would have seriously outweighed any of our ancestors living at the time, with members of Paranthropus averaging 70 to 100 pounds, or 30 to 45 kilograms. And given baboons' violent nature, they would have posed a serious threat, and possibly even be predatory to their children. Dinopithecus would have had similar diets to modern baboons, but with more fruit and less leaves. However, just like modern baboons, whenever given the opportunity they certainly would consume animals. And the gigantic size of these primates means they would be less limited than any living baboon species. Additionally, just like modern baboons, they probably would have lived in troops. These could be as small as a dozen, or as large as a couple hundred. While these monkeys may seem like a terrifying aberration, they were not wholly unique. They may have been the largest, but there were a few other large species of baboon relatives that roamed the savannas over the last few million years. Therapithecus is a genus with a living species, the Gelada, but another extinct member of the genus, Therapithecus oswaldi, was far larger. It lived as recently as 600,000 years ago and would have been nearly as large as Dinopithecus, reaching 160 pounds. This recency too means it would have lived alongside the early members of the genus Homo, like Homo erectus and Homo heidelbergensis. And with individuals reaching 160 pounds, or 72 kilograms, they could seriously outweigh some of our ancestors and pose a real threat. Primates are incredible animals and giant primates are generally terrifying. While it would be amazing to see these animals, I think most are thankful we can't encounter them in person. If you have any thoughts leave them in the comments below, and have a good day everyone.